your side. This is 6 News WOWT, live at 10. Good evening. Alabama carried out a first-of-its-kind execution Thursday using nitrogen gas. Right now, only three states have legalized this method for death row inmates, but as Marlo Lundak reports, Nebraska may join them. Carrie Dean Moore is the last inmate to be put to death by the state of Nebraska. That was more than five years ago. Nebraska's sole method of execution is lethal injection. State Senator Lauren Lippincott of Central Nebraska says he wants to change that. The drugs that are used stateside are made by companies, some of which refuse to sell those products to our correctional facilities, to prisons. Lippincott says there is a solution. Nitrogen eliminates and addresses those issues. He's introduced a bill that would add nitrogen hypoxia to Nebraska's list for capital punishment. That was the method used in last week's execution of Kenneth Eugene Smith in Alabama. The death penalty is the will of the Nebraska people. They voted for it in 2016. That's not me. That's not us. It's not the legislature. It's the will of the people. And we need to honor that. It's law. So what we need to do is we need to do it the most humane and effective way as possible. But that isn't a concern for everyone. Humanely, what did they do to their victims? That wasn't humane. I think people who think let's have a humanely probably has not gone through what our, the families have gone through. Melissa Harris's daughter was murdered in 2005. At 12 years old, Amber Harris disappeared after getting off the school bus. I always tried to have hope, but Amber's not one that would stay away from home. I was making her favorite meal that night. I knew she'd come home. I knew something was wrong the next day. Amber's remains were found buried in Hummel Park six months later, and her killer, Roy Ellis, has now sat on death row for nearly 20 years. As I get older, and I think of him sitting in there, and I'm retired now, but people, good taxpayers' money, I realize it has to run the prison system, but not for him to still sit in there and be comfortable. Harris is grateful for Lippincott's proposal and would like to see it pass. And if it does, she's hopeful there won't be more obstacles in the capital punishment process. It's time. It's time to move forward. Yeah, I may not see it in my lifetime, but my children will. And I have them to be grateful for because they have said they'll be there if this ever happens. But it's time to move forward. After Senator Lippincott's bill proposal, Senator Megan Hunt of Omaha submitted an amendment to it. Instead of nitrogen hypoxia, she suggests a legislative firing squad. It would require members of the legislature to physically carry out capital punishment themselves. Hunt is against the death penalty, and Lippincott says everyone is entitled to their own opinions, but maintains that the death penalty was reinstated by Nebraska voters. I reached out to Senator Hunt's office for comment, but did not get a response. On your side of the newsroom, Marlo Lundak, 6 News.